So if you want to learn a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing, one of the best ways to do that is by doing practice swings. But not just any practice swings. The practice swings I like people to do are swings off the ground, literally holding the golf club in the air. And why I want you to do that is because if you're elevating the club in the air, there is nothing to hit in the air. <laughs> All right. So that's one of the big things that's holding people back. They want to try and hit that golf ball and hit it hard. Even if you were doing practice swings down on the ground, there can still be the thought of, oh, I'm going to hit that blade of grass right there. You know, I've had people say, uh, oh, you know, I've been hitting those dandelions in my backyard. Yeah, that's hitting. Okay, because there's an object there. Your brain is still telling you to hit. So why not elevate the golf club? If you hold the golf club at about knee high, there's nothing to hit. So you're not thinking hit. So if you're not thinking hit, now you can get used to certain moves that you need in your swing. So this is great for people that are in a winter climate. You know, if you're at home and you can't make it out to the range, you can literally be doing these practice swings anywhere. Okay, so there is no excuse for you not to be able to learn different, you know, uh, learn a great swing, you know, learn certain moves in your swing because you need to be doing this stuff, you know, as much as you can. So if you can just do some of these things around the house, then, you know, you're going to get this stuff a lot faster. So this tip is holding the club up in the air and we're working on our body tilt. So if you don't know, one of the main swing flaws people do is called coming over the top. So, or swinging outside to in. So if this is my target line right here, my club is moving from outside of it to inside of it, cutting across the ball. If the face is square to that path, you pull it. Close to the path, you pull hook it. Open to the path, you pull slice it. Severely open, you push slice it. All right, all of those shots have you coming over the top. So, why would you come over the top? Well, like I said, you're trying to hit the ball and you're trying to hit it hard with your arms. If you're up here, you're at the top, you're trying to hit that ball with your, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna lean forward. If you lean forward, you send the club over the top. So right here, if I go like this and I lean forward, my club swings over the top, right here, over the top. Ball's going over there. Okay, so let's learn to tilt back behind the ball as we're coming down instead of moving forward. So this one, real simple, we can just be holding the club in the air like this. You go into your backswing. We're going to tilt like this as we swing down and through. So we're here. We take it back. Then we tilt back. Okay, so watch, if I'm up here like this, I'm at the top, now I tilt back. See how the club swings out at the ball? Okay, it's swinging out, because I'm tilted back. So just imagine if you sat there and, you know, pretty much every day you do 25, 50, 100 of those swings. Well, how long is it going to take you to stop swinging like this and start swinging like this? What's that, a week? Two weeks? A month? You know? Small price to pay for changing the path of the golf club. You get the club attacking more from the inside, you're going to make more direct contact with the ball. If the face is square to that path, you're going to hit the ball nice and straight right down your target line instead of hitting the ball at a glancing blow with the face open or closed, you know, and that's going to move it offline. So for the sake of just incorporating some of these simple little drills into your practice routine and just kind of daily schedule, work, do this stuff for like five minutes. Okay, let's say you're, you know, middle of winter and there's snow on the ground and you can't get out there. Well, pra do practice swings for five or ten minutes. Learn this stuff while you're in winter, so then you can play great golf when you're in summer. Why would you hang up the golf clubs in the winter? 
Now you have to work on it in the summer when you should be playing great golf. So for the sake of doing a few practice swings, you can make these changes over the winter. All right, so like I said, we're here. We're gonna go to the top and then we're gonna tilt and we're gonna swing, okay? So right here, just think of your body, tilt. Tilt forward, you send it over the top. Tilt back, you attack from the inside. So elevate the club, knee high. Do not lower the club, okay? This is what everybody does. They start here and in two seconds, they're down here again. Don't do that. If you're holding it in the air, hold it in the air. Take it back, tilt, and then swing. Right here, ready? Tilt, swing. So you get used to the feeling of hitting a golf ball from here. Every pro in the world is here, okay? So you need to incorporate that into your swing. Once you do that, you'll get the right path. And like I said, you will hit the ball longer and straighter than ever. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's gonna help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm gonna send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.